now coming to the Golden Gate option or the near real time load option. So typically, in a typical ETL architecture, you extract data from source into staging and then load it into a target schema. Uh, but in this release, Oracle has also released an optional uh, deployment where you can where you can use a source dependent data store, which is a separate schema deployed on the BI applications data warehouse that contains the data from sources which which is basically a copy of the table structure that you would find in the source system or in the OLTP system. And this data store gets populated by the Golden Gate at almost a near real time basis. So what Golden Gate is, Golden Gate is basically a replication tool which will help you with updating the uh, source dependent data store at a near real time frequency. It, can, it is a service that can be deployed both on source and target databases for continuous synch asynchronous change, uh, CDC data capture. So this is the architecture what you need to, what would be deployed as part of the Golden Gate uh, with SDS option. So what are the use cases for this? A typical use case is like, for example, certain ERP systems do not capture uh, it is difficult to capture delta records from certain ERP systems because they do not have the update timestamp uh, logic built in. So since Golden Gate works on log-based extraction, it detects changes via the database logs. You can use this uh, architecture to populate your source-dependent data store with, with the only the changes, and then ODI can pick up the data from from SDS uh, for its uh, SDE extract logic. One thing to note here is the ODI deployment is smart enough that if you enable this option at a later point in time after your initial BI apps deployment, it is smart enough and it has code built in to detect and extract data from the source dependent data store and not from the source application database, which means in terms of your incremental loads, you can have you can have a higher frequency or higher number of incremental loads during your intraday as you are not extracting data from the source application database now, but you are accessing the data or extracting the data from the uh, source dependent data, where, uh, data store. The source dependent data store can help you with your incremental load performance as well or full load performance as well by where it gives you an option of creating additional indexes or performance tuning tweaks that can be applied on this source dependent data store. So how does the replication process work within with Golden Gate? As I mentioned before, it works with, it extracts data based on the logs that have been created within the source database. It captures that, create a set of files, moves them over to the source target database, and then it applies that data the delta or the change data into the uh, schema that you have identified where it ne needs to reside. So what are the features and benefits of using Golden Gate? It has zero impact on your ongoing extraction. You can have as many ETL loads that can happen during the day because you're not hitting the production. OLTP systems. You can have full, real, uh, full ETL loads that can be executed without taxing the source system. It's a consistent uh, change data capture mechanism regardless of the source. Some key things that are uh, part of BIF deployments is to identify deletes. And the Golden Gates help you with identifying deletes without creating any database triggers. It transforms and loads data into the, it, all that can be done within the BI apps data warehouse. And also your incremental and ETL loads can be tuned uh, by adding additional indexes of views on top of the source dependent data store. Uh, the source dependent uh, data store, uh, which is getting populated by Golden Gate, uh, can also be used for uh, real time reporting or operational reporting requirements. 
but currently within BI apps, the OBI metadata is not, there's no metadata on the sources, on the source system. So if, if that is a requirement, then uh, you can leverage the SDS for your real-time reporting, but you would have to build the metadata within the OBI metadata. So the key takeaways from uh, this section, uh, the Golden Gate with source dependent data store is an optional deployment. Uh, you, you can enable this option at a later point of time uh, after your initial deployment of your BI applications. It addresses near real-time data loads, reduces your ETL windows, reduces the impact on your uh, production OLTP systems, and relies on a uh, on an additional database schema for the SDS in the BI Apps data warehouse. So the final takeaways from today's session, uh, there's, there's been new application content, uh, student information analytics and indirect spend planning, enhanced content for previously available modules like for finance, you've got fixed assets, for HR, time and labor, global payroll, uh, contracts, uh, for CRM and pricing analytics, uh, new data integration tools, Oracle Data Integrator, and then BIA, then uh, BI applications, Config configuration manager, and functional setup manager, and then the load plan generator, and and the new OBI reporting platform, eleven one one seven zero. Thanks everyone. Uh, hey Jamaya. Yeah,